parents are now organizing in Chicago. Um, so we drove from Dayton to Illinois, to Chicago. We moved into a brownstone in Chicago. First floor was a, a single woman by the name of Mary Easter. Her son's name was Eric and the daughter was Robin and I played with them because Robin was my age. We lived across the street from the Catholic school, next door to the convent. It had a like a fire hydrant cul-de-sac uh, thing in the middle that blocked the street. We had two men living with us. They lived in the living room. My mom and dad took over with like a glassed um, dining room that was had doors, but my mom and dad lived in that room. I lived in the bedroom, and Eliseo Medina lived on the back porch with his girlfriend, Nancy, who was a nurse. They were organizing in Chicago. We would leaflet out, out in front of Safeways, asking people to boycott grapes. Um, she would do television interviews but on television. Mostly, I was mostly with my mother. Um, I learned my alphabet doing the files for the United Pharmacers when I was three. That's how I did my alphabet. I, I'm sure people will be like, oh my God, the union files were done by a three-year-old. Well, guess what? They were done by a three-year-old. I learned to work the mimeograph machine. I'd help cut and paste for the mimeographing. I mean, I, did, I was office help. As soon as I could read and write, I was part of the office help as well. Um, and, that's what, and then I would go to school, and whoever was available, was my mother would pick me up, or one of the volunteer organizers would pick me up from the school. I got in trouble at Catholic school, then I got in trouble at... at at the catechism. One, because I corrected someone about where babies came from. My mom said I, when I was three, I asked her where babies came from and she started with a stork and I, I was sitting on a lap and she said, you turned to me and you said, I want the truth. So she told me the truth in very simple terms. And so now fast forward to first grade Catholic school and someone's telling a lie about where babies came from and I corrected them. And then now fast forward to being in catechism and someone is talking about Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. So I raised my hand and said, so where did the rest of us come from? Because either Eve had sex with her children, or there had to be other people around, or Cain and Abel had a relationship and somehow a man could give birth. I get kicked out of catechism, sent to the mother superior. My mother superior called. Both my parents were doing something at that time. So my father was the one who showed up. And my father showed up and said, that's a very good question. Don't raise the topic unless you're willing to answer the questions that come from raising the topic. I, my daughter did nothing wrong. 